Now we are starting the general lift distribution. So for elliptical lift distribution, from the ellipse equation we got one equation that is gamma naught one minus four y square by b square or one by two we got it. For elliptical lift distribution, for general lift distribution, so general mean it has to satisfy ellipse or symmetry or asymmetrical. Everything it has to satisfy. So we are initially they have taken four year sine series. Okay. The main reason is you can take all the harmonics. So it satisfies the end conditions. Okay. If you take a one sine theta, a two sine theta. So if you draw the wave diagram for uh, all these harmonics, odd harmonics and the even harmonics. So all the conditions satisfy the end condition. That is at the end it is zero. Circulation is zero. Okay. In our case also. Whatever the symmetrical, asymmetrical, elliptical, at the end it is zero. So mainly it satisfies the end condition, and in between there may be a peak positive value, positive negative value, etc. And all. So mainly for the end condition we are taking this Fourier sine series. I'll I'll explain how to combine these things to get this symmetrical, asymmetrical next slide. So previously they have taken Fourier sine series, then. They compared with the standard solutions, then they found the results are not accurate. So that with this equation, they have added this correction factor 2b v, okay, span velocity. So with this correction factor, they could able to match the results. Okay. So now this is our final circulation distribution for the general uh, uh, circulation equation for the general lift distribution. Is it clear? Using this, we can get all type of uh, profile that I will explain in the next slide. So, ellipse it is you see straight away from ellipse equation we have taken, and this time we are taking sine series, Fourier sine series, so that first it satisfies the end condition. Now let's see how it satisfies the symmetrical asymmetrical. So here I have taken a symmetrical pattern that is assume. The flaps are deflected downwards, so there is a peak. Actually, I have drawn this. So I couldn't draw it properly. These profiles. So, due to the flaps deflected downward, there is a peak in these two sides. So, to simulate this condition, this profile, they are taking only odd harmonics. Only odd harmonics they are taking. Only A1, A3, A5 like that they are taking. Let me change the color. So this is a one sine theta. So this is a three sine three theta, and this is a five sine five theta. Either if you take more number of uh, uh, what is it equations, the accuracy will be more. For example, here they have taken only three. Okay, so they have taken only three harmonics, odd harmonics. Now you can see. If you combine these three, the total resultant magnitude will be here. For example, here on positive, here on positive, here on positive. Totally, the point is here. Here also positive, positive. This also on positive, and the magnitude goes here. And here, this is on positive. Right straight. Okay. Positive value. This also positive. This is negative. So it is decreasing. Okay. And here, if you take, this is positive, this is positive, but this is negative. So overall, there is a drop. Like that, this is also symmetric. So if you combine these three profile, if you take the resultant magnitudes, you will get this symmetrical lift distribution. Is that clear? So to, this is the final profile, red color line. Okay, assume this is due to the flap deflected downward. Okay, so to simulate this, so this profile they are taking only odd harmonics. A1, A3, A5, A7, like that they can take a number of harmonics. So if I take more uh, well more equations, I will get accurate profile. If I get less, I will get only the instead of this curved profile, there may be like that. If I take only three. Like that, the accuracy will vary. If you take less number, assume here I have taken only three profiles, A1, A3, A5. So this is A1, 
this is a3 this is a5 profile so at every location we can find the total result uh, result and magnitude so here all are positive 1 then 2 then 3 if you add everything you will get the result and value here here also positive positive it is somewhere here then here one positive this also positive and this is negative so there is a small drop like that the profile varies is it clear in the center also this is positive a1 and the a5 is positive a3 is negative totally there is a drop like that the profile varies okay so using this odd harmonics we can simulate symmetrical flip distribution and for asymmetrical we have to take both odd and even so here assume aileron control this side the aileron is deflected downward this side aileron is deflected upward so there is a decrease in uh, lift or circulation distribution so here we are taking both odd plus even so this is one a1 sin theta this is a2 sin theta this is a3 sin theta this is a4 sin theta like that for example they have taken only four here also now you can see the resultant positive value this also positive this also positive this also positive four thing if you are the resultant mind it will be here okay here also positive 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 resultant is here and for example here if you take positive and one negative so it is dropped and this side if you say if you take so this is positive this is positive these two things are negative so the resultant point is coming here is it clear so for symmetrical pattern we have to take only hard hard harmonics a1 a3 a5 a7 like that for asymmetrical you have to take both odd plus even so that's why they have taken this equation for your sign series with that they added this correction factor with that we could match the elliptic distribution as a plane distribution just introduction any doubt here Well, just for your understanding purpose, here after only you are going to start the derivation. Any doubt? Shall I continue? Yes, sir. Okay. So this four years sign series. we are taking for the general lip distribution and we know the coordinate transformation this already we derived so once you know the circulation first step is to find the induced velocity so this is the induced velocity formula okay so once you know the gamma now we have to find d gamma by dy but you see here it is in terms of theta but here it is in terms of dy or this y so this equation i am writing in terms of theta that is instead of this dy substitute these terms and instead of this y y1 substitute this and i can write this, this w in terms of theta now okay instead of y and dy now it is theta and d theta okay So because this equation is in terms of theta, so now itself I am doing coordinate transformation from y to theta. Now I can find this d gamma by d theta. Okay, I know the gamma. From there I can find d gamma by d theta. So if you differentiate this sign m theta, you will get cos m theta dot n. Okay, n is here. Okay, cos m theta into n. Now you can substitute this and simplify. You will get integral. Cos n theta d by cos theta minus cos theta one. So this is the standard solution. Already I discussed in the previous thing. That's it. You can cancel two two. Remaining is the 
induced velocity okay so it is simple so first step i am finding the w first time writing w from y terms to theta terms using this coordinate transformation equations then from gamma to d gamma by d theta i am finding then substitute here simplify then already we found the standard uh, results for this integral that straight away we can write it finally we are getting wi okay Now once you know the wi we can find alpha i also so alpha i is equal to wi divided by v infinity okay this v infinity term will not be there that's it okay so alpha i wi we found it next we can go for the cl okay first you can find lift and cl here straight away they found the cl no issues so 2 divided by vs integral gamma dy so i know gamma equation and d dy equation in terms of theta okay so this is gamma equation and this is dy simplify okay we know integral of sin n theta sin theta the solution is pi by 2 if n is equal to 1 okay substitute n is equal to 1 everywhere so you will get a1 pi by 2 okay if you rearrange you will get a1 pi b square by s and we know b square by s by s is aspect ratio so cl is a1 pi ar is it clear so straight away substitute gamma and dy then integral so if n is equal to 1 then the solution is pi by 2 substitute n is equal to 1 everywhere okay i am getting a1 and pi by 2 simplify you will get cl is equal to a1 pi ar so cl also we found and last step induced drag and cdi so we can use rho w gamma term or l alpha i term it's up to you i have mentioned both procedures okay method one method two but we know method two is simpler so from the force i am finding coefficient of force by dividing by q infinity s so already i found the cl in terms of theta in the previous slide so this equation straight away i am taking okay cl in terms of theta okay and alpha i also in terms of theta we found it so alpha i is equal to w i b v infinity that means summation n a n sin n theta sin theta so those two term i am substituting here now again simplify sin theta sin theta it will be integral sin square n theta the solution is pi by 2 now this is our CDD. okay so cl in terms of theta i know that straight away i have taken alpha i also have straight away i have taken simply simplify this our final cdi and in the previous equations and all the final equation we, we have written in terms of cl so here also this cdi i am going to write in terms of cl so cl we found as a1 pi ar then here also i need some a1 term then only i can substitute cl so for that from this term i am taking a1 because the n varies from 1 to n so if i take a1 outside then it will be a1 squared summation now 2 to n n a n square okay previously it is like that okay substitute 1 here so you will get 1 into a1 square that i am taking out square out, outside so remaining is 2 to n now now a1 square take it outside 1 plus here this time will be there so this much we simplified now instead of this we can write cl okay so if you convert you will get cl square divided by pi a r okay because c l square is equal to a1 square pi square a r square here what we have is the pi a r a1 square 
that means pi a r a one square we have that is is equal to c s square divided by pi a r. So this term we are getting. Is that clear? Normal simplification only. Okay. So this is is equal to c l square divided by pi a r. And this instead of this very big equation, the this we can expand from two. We can substitute two, three, four, five up to n. We can substitute. It will be a very big equation. Instead, they are simplifying this term as del. Okay, instead of this very big term, they are writing this as del. So the same thing here. I'll explain. I'll continue. Okay. So instead of this, we are taking only del, and the del is the induced drag factor. Okay. So always induced drag will be there. Okay. So it varies. In the positive, okay, zero, one, two, like that will increase. Okay, if maximum will be zero, there is minimum it is zero. Maximum it can be in the positive value. Okay, because there will be induced drag. Induced drag will not go to the the negative term, the factor. Okay, so one way they instead of this they are writing this del. This they are calling as induced drag factor. This term further they are simplifying. That is one divided by one plus del. They are writing as E span efficiency factor or asphalt. Sign this name asphalt efficiency factor. You see this del varies from zero to some positive value. Okay, so if you substitute zero, you will get E is equal to one. If you substitute, for example, one, you will get E is equal to 0.5 like that. This E is the factor. It varies from not zero, maybe some smaller value, 0.1 to one. Okay. So del varies from zero to some positive value because of this del. This e varies from one to some minimum value, point one. Okay, so e maximum can vary one because del zero means one. For other positive value, one, two, three, and all, it will go down. This is how e varies. And they found it for low speed and high speed subsonic aircrafts. So they found. For low-speed aircraft, E varies between 0.7 and 0.8. For high speed, it is 0.3 to 0.5. You know, if the velocity increases, then the wing tip rotation strength also will increase. Okay, then this induced this del term also will increase. If this del term increases, E will keep on decreasing. That's why for high speed, we are getting low E. Okay, if velocity increases, wing tip rotation strength also will increase. Then this del term also will increase. If this del term increases, E will decrease. So low speed 0.7 to 0.8, high speed 0.3 to 0.5. So speed increases, E decreases. Okay, now this is our final equation. C L square divided by pi E A R, and E varies from, for example, 0.1 to 1. Okay, and if you want to reduce this induced drag. Two term we can adjust. One is we can increase the e. Okay, if the e value increase, C D A also will increase. And you see e increases from, for example, point one to one. Okay, so this is the maximum. E value cannot be more than one. It is maximum one only. So if e value keep on if you are increasing, we are getting different C D A, and the C D A value is decreasing in this term. So for e is equal to one, we are getting minimum C D A. Okay, so e value has to be increased, and maximum it can reach only one. So when e is equal to one, then the corresponding C D A is the minimum induced drag coefficient. Now if you compare elliptical lift distribution, so what we got is the C D A is equal to C L square divided by pi A R. If you compare these two. It is like e is equal to one. Okay, that's why we are telling elliptical lift distribution gives minimum induced drag. Is that clear? Are we confused? You? Shall I repeat that? It's enough. This varies from. Okay. 
okay del varies from 0 to positive so e varies from 1 to some low value so e has to be increased maximum can reach 1 at that point only we will get the minimum reduced attack so if we compare with the elliptical lift distribution here e is equal to 1 so this will be the so minimum induced drag. This profile gives the minimum induced drag. So one way of reducing the induced drag is increasing the E or increasing the aspect ratio. Okay. Instead of the low aspect ratio shaving, we will go for the high aspect ratio shaving to get the less induced drag. That's it. This deviation also over. So here, if this is elliptical wing. It is constant. Induced velocity is constant. Okay, so the profile is constant. But if you take rectangular or a general wing term, there will be a sine theta. Okay, so for different theta, we will get different downwards velocity. So 